Welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita, it's almost Christmas, and today we're making one last centerpiece entree for the holidays, a chickpea meatless meatloaf. This recipe is honestly great for any time of year, but it's a perfect option for putting at the center of the holiday table to replace a turkey, ham, or any other meat that would traditionally be the focus of your plate. There are quite a few ingredients in this recipe, but it's easy to make, they're all common kitchen staples, and when combined, they make for a flavor-packed dish that will impress anybody at the table. So here's everything you'll need for this recipe. I'll also leave everything in the description box below, along with a link to the blog post, with some mouthwatering photos and a printable recipe card. While I make this recipe gluten-free, you can just use regular if you prefer, in place of oat flour, or if you don't have rolled oats on hand. We'll start by making our oat flour before prepping all of our veggies. Slicing our celery, dicing our carrots, our onion, and mincing our garlic. You'll then want to soften these veggies by sauteing them in a pan over medium heat until they've just begun to caramelize, about five to seven minutes. You'll then remove them from the heat and set them aside. You can now preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll add your chickpeas to a large bowl and mash them until there are almost no whole pieces left. Then you'll add your sauteed veggies, your oat flour, and all your other ingredients to make your filling. Nutritional yeast, paprika, parsley, cumin, rosemary, sage, thyme, cayenne, pepper, salt, soy sauce, vinegar, mustard, tomato paste or ketchup, and barbecue sauce. Mix everything together completely and then transfer it to an eight x four or nine x five inch loaf pan and spread it evenly without packing it down too much. Packing it will make it dense and gummy when it comes out of the oven, so you wanna work it in just enough to where it will fit comfortably in the pan. Cover it and bake for 30 minutes and in the meantime, we'll make our glaze. In a small bowl, combine barbecue sauce, tomato paste or ketchup, and paprika, and mix well. After 30 minutes, remove the cover, spread your glaze evenly over the top, and bake for an additional 20 minutes uncovered. Then remove it from the oven and allow it to rest for at least 15 minutes before slicing it. Letting it cool for this amount of time or longer will allow it to better hold together when you do cut into it. After slicing it up and taking some nice photos of this beauty for the blog, we'll serve one up for a taste test. This loaf is flavorful, has fabulous texture, and can be eaten on its own or paired perfectly with other holiday favorites. Classic stuffing, potatoes au gratin, or simple mashed potatoes and gravy are great options, and all of which I have recipes for as well. It's moist, has a little kick from the cayenne, and only lasts about a day or so whenever I make it because it's so freaking good. But it does also store great leftovers. For how it stacks up against an alternative, my recipe compared against both a non-vegan meatloaf or a vegan meatless option, it will cost you about half or less to make, has up to 15 times more fiber, and you'll get to eat about as much of it or even a little bit more for the same number of calories. So that's it for today's recipe. I hope you try it out along with some of my other holiday dishes from this year. If you do, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to my blog for recipes right to your inbox and connect with me on social media for day-to-day content. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and come back next time. Bye!